Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 83. Inside this video, we will see the concept that is how to send an email using Gmail in Laravel. So if I back to editor, here we have few basic simple steps by the help of those we can send an email using our Gmail SMTP server. So first of all, we need to set our SMTP credentials. So to set SMTP details, here we have .env file. So if I click on that file, now inside this environment variables, we will find here all about our mailer variables. Something called mail underscore mailer, mail underscore host, mail underscore port, username, password and several variables. So inside each variable, we need to assign our value according to our Gmail SMTP server. So first of all, we need to set all these values. If you back to browser, this is our blogging website. Inside this blogging website, we have an article over sending an email using Gmail SMTP server in Laravel. So to find that article, simply go inside these articles, click on Laravel 8 and inside this search box, if I type simply SMTP, pressing enter, now as we can see that we have an article over that. So simply if I click on this article link, scroll down and inside this documentation we will have all the guide. Now inside this article documentation, if I scroll down, here as we can see that SMTP configuration with Laravel 8. So simply we need to open .env file and we need to set all the values inside these environment variables. So what I will do, simply I will copy all these values, either we can Ctrl A to select, Ctrl C to copy or simply click on this copy code, go inside this editor and remove all these variables and simply pasting this, all these values. So here we have called mail underscore mailer. So this time we are going to use SMTP means Gmail server. So here it will be SMTP. Next we are going to use our Gmail SMTP server. So mail underscore host equals to smtp.gmail.com. This is the port and here we need to provide our username and the password. This is the username of means Gmail email address and this is gmail password. Now next we need to set mail description that is TLS. Here we need to set call from address. If suppose I am sending an email to your email address so we want from address and we want to address. So inside this environment variable I will use the same username means same email address what we have used here. So this is the same email address. Now next, this is from name. It means from this application, if suppose I am sending an email to your email address, so inside from name, we will get this online web tutor as a name. So successfully, by the help of this .env file and all these variables, now we have configured SMTP. And one more thing, when we are working with sending an email using Gmail SMTP servers, first of all, we need to make our email address as less secured app. So let's say that for this video, I'm going to use, this is the email address I'm going to use and this is the password of this email address. Now how can we create a less secured app? Back to our article here inside this documentation. Now this is our Gmail. Go inside here inside this and simply click on account. So when we click on this account, we will get something like this page. Click on security and inside this security tab, we will find this called list secure app access. So by default, Gmail turned it off. But in case when we are using the Gmail email address and the password for sending email, we need to make it as means least secured app, we need to convert from off value to on value. So inside this documentation, as we can see that by default it will be off. So simply click on this link 
and finally we need to toggle or let's say we need to enable this list secure app access so this is the steps that what we have done to configure SMTP inside application now next after configuration now we need to create a controller so back to terminal this is our project setup called test-app and to close this development server let's create a controller called php artisan make controller and for the moment let's create sample controller pressing enter wait for a while controller created successfully and one more file we need inside this email functionality so if i type the command called php artisan pressing enter now inside this command palette if we go inside this make section we will find a command called make colon mail this command is going to create a new email class so what i will do simply php artisan if i see the help manual of make mail pressing enter now as we can see that we need to pass a name as an argument that will be the name of the class and here we have several options available for the moment we are not going to use any options simply let's say php artisan make colon mail and let's say we are going to create test mail this is the name of the class so if i press enter mail created successfully so after running this command this command is going to create if i back to our project setup go inside this app folder now as we can see that we have a mail folder by default this folder does not exist inside this app directory but when we run this command called php artisan make mail this command is going to create this folder and inside this folder we have a file called tastmail.php this is the name means this is the class name what we have passed as an argument while running this command so back to editor first of all we have created a controller called sample controller now inside this controller we need to load our all the files what we need for sending an email so back to header and if i go inside this test mail let's open up this controller and first of all we need to import our test mail so test mail the name space of this mail means mail class file is something app this is app inside this mail directory we have test mail go inside this controller let's create a function called public function send mail and inside this we are going to pass let's say uh, we have a details array inside this details array we will have few keys like title let's say sample mail another variable we have let's say body this will be something sample body and one more class we want something facade class that is use mail so we need to import while using our mail functionality so this mail is coming from eliminate support and facades so go here mail and inside this we need to use scope resolution operator here we have two so when we hit enter inside this two we need to pass the email address where we want to send an email so for the moment let's say that i want to send an email inside this email address next we have the chaining method concatenated inside this send method and inside this send method we need to pass our email class object so we have created called test mail so instead of malleable class let's say test email means test mail and inside this we are going to pass our details array after writing all these codes let's say echo within s3 tag let's say mail sent 
successfully. Now the next step, we have done the two things. First is all about the configuration. Second is all about the configuration of this controller. And finally, we need to go inside this test mail what we have created. So go inside this file. And as we are sending values, so we need to receive all these values inside this construct method. So to access all these values, let's create a public variable, something public. Let's add details. Go inside this construct method. Let's add this details. And first of all, we need to create a variable inside this construct method. So this is details. And this details variable is going to access all these values what we have passed inside this task mail constructor. So go here equals to let's say details. So by getting all these values, we are now successfully initialized this details public variable. Now go inside this build method because when we use this test mail class file, then build method automatically get called behind the scene. So what I will do, get rid of the syntax. Let's add this. Here we have another method called subsect and let's say test mail from Let's online web tutor. Now next, I'm to call a view file. And inside this view file, we need to pass our view file path. So let's say that for sending an email template, email template, we are going to create a file inside emails folder. So that is emails folder. Now next, we are going to create a file, let's say sample hyphen mail. If we go inside this view, toggle world wrap. So here we have used a subject method. This is our mail subject. And next we have a view method. And inside this view method, we are passing our view file path. This file path is going to used as a mail template. So next we need to copy this sample mail file name. Go inside this resources folder, views folder. First of all, we need to create a folder with the name of emails. So emails and inside this folder, I'm going to create a file called samplemail.bleed.php. Now inside this, we need to write some piece of HTML code. So for simplicity, as we are using VS code, so simply pressing and tab symbol. So after that, let's say that this is test mail inside this body as we know that we are passing two values called title and body so by passing all these values inside this construct here we are initialized our values inside this details and now we can access this details array inside this bleed file as well so let's say that within this h3 tag we are passing our title and body values so let's say details and here we have a title. Now next, let's say that we have a paragraph tag. And inside this paragraph tag, what I will do, simply we will print the body message. So here we have the body. And these two variables we are passing from this controller. Now we have done all the configurations. In the next, we need to create a route. So for that, Go inside this routes folder, web.php. First of all, let's import our controller called use sample controller. Go here. Let's route cat. And inside here, let's say send hyphen mail. Making an array. Inside this, let's say we have sample controller. So sample controller, it's a class. And inside this class, we have a method to send an email called send mail. So copy and pasting it here. So if we save all these changes, copy this route back to terminal. Let's start our development server. So PHP artisan serve back to browser. And if I type our URL, let's say send hyphen mail, pressing enter.
and as we can see that mail sent successfully. So if I back to here and as we can see that actually we are sending an email from this email address to this email address. This is the subject what we had set. If I back to editor, go inside this test mail, this is the subject what we had set. Go here and inside this, this is the title and this is the body. So successfully, this is the demonstration of sending an email using Gmail SMTP server. And one more thing before closing this video is that if suppose your credentials what we have passed is not correct. So in that case, let's say that this is the other password. These are incorrect values. So when we save, go and reload this page. And as we can see that failed to authenticate on SMTP server. So this is the error actually you can get if suppose your details are not correct or if your Gmail account is not less secure. So these are the two points you need to keep in our mind while implementing sending an email using Gmail SMTP server. All the details are documented inside this blog article. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.